latest terrifying news. The Earth's core stopped spinning. The deep core of our planet, which is a dense ball of iron and nickel, has been a mystery to scientists for a very long time. Nevertheless, current research has uncovered new knowledge about this region of the globe that was previously unknown. A peculiar incident that leaves many scratching their heads and wondering what it might possibly imply. What do you suppose would happen if the core of our world abruptly stopped spinning all of a sudden? Keep attentive in this video as we are about to discuss a phenomenon that you may have heard about. Make sure to give this channel a like and subscribe to it. Picture the core of the Earth to be a heavy metal ballerina whose speed is continuously shifting. Now imagine if the ballerina abruptly stopped dancing and no one understood why. What would happen then? Seismologists have stated that the inner core reverses the direction in which it spins perhaps once every few decades, and that such a reversal may be taking place right now. These pauses are brief but unique. This may sound like the setup for a world-destroying blockbuster movie, but in reality, the researchers who proposed this model want to better understand how the inner core is like a world within a planet, which means that the movement of the inner core definitely plays a very essential role, stated. Seismology is one of Dr. Song's specialties at Peking University in Beijing. A Danish seismologist made the discovery in 1936 that the liquid outer core of the Earth is coated with a solid metal marble. Since then, this discovery has left researchers scratching their heads. The core is thought to have formed from a molten metal soup at some point in Earth's not-too-distant past, when the planet's interior hellfire had cooled down. Scientists believe this took place at some point in the not-too-distant past, Dr. Song and his team have made some unexpected observations that suggest the inner core has a near-solid state. In spite of the fact that these waves produced a mystery if the core was motionless, scientists estimate that this ball of mostly iron and nickel is 15-20 miles long and had the same temperature as the surface of the sun. In the middle of the 1990s, Dr. Song was one of the first scientists to propose that the Earth's inner core might be rotating at a different speed than the surface. One theory proposes that the inner core spin can both speed up and slow down the rotation of the Earth's surface. Core diving voyages would never result in waves changing, despite the fact that waves resulting from almost identical earthquakes and nuclear explosions do so over time. One explanation for this phenomenon is because the inner core is spinning rapidly. By the beginning of the 1970s, someone standing on the surface of Earth would not have seen rotation in the inner core of the planet. Since that time, the speed at which the inner core rotates toward the east has continuously increased until it eventually surpassed the speed at which the surface of the planet rotates. After this, the spinning of the inner core slowed considerably, and eventually it appeared as though it had ceased altogether sometime between 2009 and 2029. Dr. Song theorizes that this immense tug of battle is what causes the inner core to spin back and forth on a cycle that lasts approximately 70 years. This 70-year rhythm, if it does exist, could have a discernible impact on certain regions of Earth. Nevertheless, it is possible that it is only capable of creating modest disruptions closer to the surface of the globe, possibly by inducing subtle variations in the magnetosphere of the planet. Now that it has reached this point, the inner core will continue to gradually spin westward in relation to the surface of the Earth. It is very likely that it will speed up for a while, then gradually slow down until it reaches another apparent stop in the 2040s, thus completing its most recent eastward-westward spin cycle. Even more astonished was the group when they found a turning point comparable to it in the early 1970s, which suggested that the core stops rotating and begins to rotate in the opposite direction on a cyclical basis. This discovery took place in the early 1970s. Seismologists have discovered that the direction in which the inner core spins can reverse after brief but infrequent pauses, and then the direction in which it spins again can change after that. At this very moment, we are well into the month of May. The aim of the research team is to further develop our comprehension of this strange and enigmatic realm, and this discovery raises a lot of concerns regarding the inner core and its connection to the rest of the planet. In spite of the possibility that the rotation of the Earth's inner core does not have a significant impact on the planet's surface, this is still an intriguing topic that continues to baffle scientists. I am grateful to you for watching. The core of the Earth plays an important role in both the structure and functionality of our planet as a whole. Both the solid inner core and the liquid outer core are predominantly composed of iron and nickel. It is composed of a solid inner core that is surrounded by a liquid outer core. 
The motion of this molten metal is what forms the magnetic field of the Earth, which is absolutely necessary for shielding us from the potentially lethal impacts of solar radiation and cosmic rays. Now imagine for a moment that the center of the Earth suddenly stopped rotating. What would happen then? The scientific community is currently engaged in a lively discussion and a great deal of conjecture around this disastrous scenario. The rotation of the Earth has already begun to slow down, but this is a sluggish process that will take millions of years before it has a substantial impact on our globe. On the other hand, the impacts would be seen much more instantly and may have severe ramifications for life on Earth if the Earth's core were to stop spinning altogether. If the core of the Earth suddenly stopped moving, one of the most dramatic effects that would occur would be on the magnetic field of the globe. If the core didn't move, the magnetic field wouldn't be able to maintain its strength, leaving us vulnerable to solar winds and cosmic radiation. These high-energy particles have the potential to wreak havoc on our electronic systems, leading to catastrophic power outages and disrupting communication networks on a worldwide scale. The repercussions on the natural world would be similarly severe, with the higher radiation levels leading to a rise in cancer rates and genetic abnormalities. These effects would be caused by the increased exposure to radiation. If the Earth's core were to stop moving, one of the additional effects that would follow would be that the planet would stop rotating. Without the rotation of the Earth, there would be no such thing as day and night, and our perception of time would be completely meaningless. If the Earth's core were to suddenly stop moving, the planet as a whole would stop moving as well, with the result that half of the planet would always be facing the sun while the other half would be in constant darkness. Since there would be no air circulation as a result of this, there would be significant temperature disparities between the sunny and cloudy portions of the Earth. This would have a significant and negative impact on global weather patterns. The death of the Earth's core would also lead the gravitational field of the planet to become uneven, with the gravitational attraction becoming stronger in some locations and weaker in others. This would be caused by the gravitational pull becoming greater in some areas and weaker in others. This might result in large movements in the tectonic plates of the planet, which would then lead to a rise in the amount of seismic activity as well as an increase in the frequency of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The disturbances in the crust of the Earth might also set off large tsunamis and landslides, which would cause extensive damage to coastal areas and other vulnerable places. If the core of the Earth were to ever stop functioning, it would be a cataclysmic catastrophe that would have far-reaching ramifications for life on our planet. Even while it is extremely unlikely that it will occur during our lifetimes or even in the relatively near future, it is still a possibility that scientists need to take into consideration and get ready for. The creation of innovative technology that can protect us from radiation, the reduction of the damage caused by seismic activity, and the discovery of strategies that can regulate the magnetic field of the planet are all essential milestones in the process of securing our future. The sudden cessation of the rotation of the core of the Earth would have catastrophic effects for both our planet and the people who live on it. The loss of our planet's magnetic field, rotation, and stable gravity would create significant changes to our day-to-day -day life, and the increased radiation levels and seismic activity might have potentially lethal outcomes. Even if it is an extremely remote possibility, we nonetheless need to be aware of it and take precautions to prevent it from happening. We are able to ensure that we are well prepared for whatever the future may bring by making investments in cutting-edge technologies and by building thorough plans for responding to emergencies. Did you like this video? Tell us your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. See you in the next one.